Well, if you were waiting to get those Hangout Music Festival tickets, have some bad news for you tonight. The festival is officially sold out. That means more than 40,000 people will be invading in mid-May. So is the area ready for the record-breaking crowds? Local 15's Christina Zurjenko joins us live with special preparations that are already underway. Greg, the more people, the more safety measures the city and festival organizers will be taking, especially now that all 40,000 tickets have been sold out. It was a big day for the Hangout Music Festival organizers. And the Hangout Music Festival sold out. That means over 40,000 people will be flocking to Southern Baldwin County for the festival next month. Yeah, Hangout Festival! Making it five more thousand than last year. We increased the crowd to 40,000 this year and uh, there's 40,000 people that want to be here and will be here. But this increase has raised some concerns. Will the area be able to handle the record-breaking number of attendees? We took this question to city leaders. We are. The footprint itself can accommodate a significantly larger number of people than we even permit. We were told that residents and festival goers will be able to notice some adjustments this year that will hopefully make the hangout experience even better. Travel lanes are made wider this year. There's additional water stations, there's additional restrooms, there's additional security, there's additional lanes to be able to get in and out of easy. And while the festival might be still several weeks away, some preparations are already beginning. If you look closely, you'll notice them already. We're starting to lay mats out, which are the roads that we create for the beach. Uh, we're starting to do improvements around different properties in the area that'll be used for bus stops. If you still want to enjoy the show, there's two ways. First is volunteering but for the festival or keeping your eyes locked on Local 15 as our cameras are the only ones that will be bringing live streams all weekend long. Reporting live in Baldwin County Bureau, Christina Svergeco, Local 15 News.